is so exciting and what a way to have a scatter day start. We have Shadow and the little cub here. Now I haven't seen the cub yet, I've only seen Shadow. We're just waiting to try to get through this thicket. It is very, very dense in here. So I'm trying to just see if we can't find her. Now Shadow is just in front of me here. There she is. So she's just sitting, waiting patiently like a good mother to try and see where her little cub is. Now her cub was bounding around somewhere in the right hand side here. Now she looks like she's found something. I don't know what she's busy trotting after. Now just careful your head here, Craig. It is very, very thick. Oh, there goes the little cub. It's just here on the right. Here it goes. Now it's going to join up with its mom. You see it there, Craig? Look at that. Isn't it cute? <laughs> now this is the first time I've seen the little cub. So I'm so excited. Isn't this amazing? Like I say, what a way to start our cat today with wild dogs and then Shadow and the little cub together. This is amazing. Now I'm hoping she's going to go to Red Dam. Hello little one. It's very, very cool to see. I'm just trying to give her a bit of space because I don't want her to get too flustered. We are in a dense thick area and it is a tough place for us to follow. I don't want to chase her with her cub and she seems to be moving really quickly. It's um, obviously that she's been moving around the whole morning and her tracks have been up and down so for us to find her and that she's actually out in the open is really good because in the section that we're in it's not very pleasant. If she goes left or right it's going to be really tough but she's just in front of us here and I'm going to have to make space for one of the other vehicles to have a little look as well because obviously this is not something that we get to see often and Shadow has been quite elusive as her name suggests over the last few days. There we go. So, Lara, you say today it's raining cats and dogs. Indeed it is. Now, I'm just going to try to pull forward so Peter can go past me and get a view of these leopards. There we go. Peter, can you fit? There we go. So, she's just gone behind the bush over there in the distance. And there's the cub. I don't know where it's gone to now. I think it ran to the right somewhere. But, yes, it is raining cats and dogs. And aren't we so, so fortunate? be able to find both wild dogs and leopard cub on the same morning. You can just see her moving in the background there. Now where's your little one? There it goes. Isn't it cute? Isn't that amazing? And definitely a little female and look at it moving away. How amazing is this? I wonder if they're not going to go to Red Dam and I'm hoping if they do go to Red Dam that they're going to end up going for a little drink and we'll get them right out in the open. That would be just the most special way to spend our morning. Now I'm going to just try to see if I can't go in behind Peter here. Uh, she is moving into a very, very dense area. It's the same area where we were trying to find Tingana yesterday and it's not an easy place to go. It's a place that we have to be a little bit kind of wary of and if she gets into that thicket, the chances of us being able to follow are going to be very, very slim. So let's just try and stay, sort of give her some distance so that we don't push her into that thicket. But she's being typical Shadow in that she's walking as quickly and as fast as she possibly can, which is always a trait of this particular female. She likes to move and get into these sort of dense areas. And you can see the little tail of the cub on the right hand side there just twitching. It's getting so big now from the time James saw it where it was a tiny little fluff ball to this is amazing. Now we've had a bit of a leopard drought the last few days. This is certainly a way to break that drought. We are being absolutely spoilt this morning. This is so so amazing. Hoping she is slowly but surely heading towards Red Dam. There goes the little cub, bounding away in the grass. Is the grass a bit long for you, little one? Amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. Any morning or any day that you can spend with a leopard cub is incredible. So, Mercedes, I didn't get the rest of your question. Sorry, Peter was just talking to me there as I went past him. So. Uh, you want to know the sex of the cub. It's a little female as far as I can see. I will 100% confirm now but it does look like a little female to me. That's what I could see when it was walking away from us just now. But they are going straight to Red Dam. That's amazing. Hopefully they're going to go drink. If they drink we are going to be in for an absolute treat in this morning light. So I know the cub was just on our right hand side. Mom is just in front. So I don't want to sort of separate the two now. The little cub will be coming out just in front of us here, Craig. There it goes. Did you see it bounding along? Isn't it amazing? 
now we are going into a nice big open clearing so we should get really nice visuals of shadow and the little one in the next two minutes i wonder if she's going to just sit there just trying to give her some space and let her oh look they're playing now isn't this amazing are you two going to have a little game together okay so she's going to pop out here craig so she's decided to avoid the dam a little bit but yeah she's coming past us again look at that in that beautiful morning light now where are you little cub there you come there it goes bounding along the grass is too long it looks like a little scrub here bouncing along so Marcy Shadow's Cub won't be named for a while still it only will be named probably when it gets to over a year old so when they are still this young we don't give them names because the chances of survival are so low and so we don't want to try and jinx it in any way it's just kind of a feeling amongst the rangers and also we don't know if it's going to survive there's no point in giving a name to a leopard that's not going to survive and so we wait until it gets to about a year old before we will now we're just trying to get into a position where we can see her there we go Hopefully she's going to just go a little, there we go, there's the cub, see it running? Come back to your mum, we want to see you little one. Still a little bit nervous of the cars and we really haven't spent too much time with Shadow and this cub because she's been quite elusive. We haven't had a chance to sort of spend long hours with it and so what is she chasing? Seems like she was after something. Look, look at how she's sitting. She's watching something definitely. And isn't that amazing? For those of you who like screenshots, this long, tall, white grass with shadows striding through it, that is as good as it gets. And she's posing like a real pose. And now hopefully the cub is going to come out near where her mom is. And I wonder what she's maybe just checking this dam, making 100% sure that there is no sign of any other predator before she then goes down and takes this cub into that area especially if maybe she's had an issue with Tingana over the last few days you never know maybe him being around has made her a lot more cautious of what's going on but that is beautiful those spots the colors are just amazing now I wonder where the little cub is oh, hello shadow you are looking incredible she's looking in great condition as well she's got very very healthy body at the moment look she's calling so she's making that chuffing sound which is the way that they call their their cubs and it basically goes <laughs> and that will call the cub out and she's telling the cub no it's okay it's safe you can come out into the open don't worry even though there's these two big objects you don't have to worry too much isn't that amazing you are a beautiful girl and in the absence of Karula, seeing Shadow and Tundi always kind of tugs at the heartstrings a little bit. And, you know, he kind of reminds us that Karula is still not missing and that at least the lineage and the legacy is going to come along. Hello, little girl. Isn't that amazing? She is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Guys, this is so incredibly special. To see this is one of those sightings that are you will go many many drives as you will know without seeing something as special as this it's a beautiful little female look at her she's quite big already oh and that is beautiful well done craig that's very very nice and i'm so glad she came out and has decided to sit for a little bit you can see she's panting because she's been trying to keep up with mom in this long grass so she's been having to do lots of extra work bounding along where are you off to are you going to go play on the sticks now she is at that age where she's going to be on meat already so I wonder if mom maybe doesn't have a carcass somewhere and that's also why she's just looking around making 100% sure that there's nothing here that could potentially harm her cub. She's probably learned some valuable lessons and there we go now they're departing the scene again decided that they're not going to go to Red Dam and now they're going to carry on. There she goes. So John, the cub must be now, where are we? We're in May, so the cub is about five months old. We think it was born just around, sort of just after New Year's, was the first time that we saw her in the, sort of going towards this area. And funny enough, we had her on an impala kill and she was heavily, heavily pregnant and she was lactating 
lactating, well not lactating, but she was starting to groom her own um, teats and she was very heavy. And she was on this Impala Hill and all of a sudden, it was late afternoon, she just got up and she started running. She didn't actually even sit for one minute, she ran and she ran straight into this area that we're in now. She then, I'm sure, gave birth that night because two days later, somebody saw her and she had the suckle marks. So I think that was when she gave birth and I think it was on the 3rd or 4th of January, somewhere there, just before the TV shows started in January. So it was somewhere around there that she gave birth. So it must be about five months old now, just over five months, approaching six months. So it's still little and still kind of can see very, very reliant on mom. And I'm just going to stop here because I don't want to push them too much. You can see mom is kind of looking around every now and then and just making sure that we're not following too closely. And we want this cub to relax with us. So we have to give it positive and sort of good experiences by get, respecting their space and allowing them to have the sort of space to move around. But where they're going now is going to be very, very difficult to follow them much further. We go into a little thicket here and, or well, sorry, a little clearing. And then after that clearing, it becomes almost impossible so I'm going to try and stay with her as long as I can but there's the little cub on the mound in front she's just watching mom there we go what are you doing oh up the mound we go I'll just try see if I now let's just see the little cub seems to be on top of the mound here. I wonder if it will let us get a little bit closer so we can have a look at it. I'm just going very slowly because I don't want to spook it. Let's see. Now, no, it's gone down the mound on the other side. So Tammy knows she didn't. She had actually two cubs when James was who was one of the first people to see Shadow's cubs she had two and then now over the last of sort of when we had that cyclone Deneo come through that was when one of them was lost we have no idea what happened to that poor cub but it could be that it got caught up in the floods um, that flooded these drainage lines where Shadow was keeping them it could have been a hyena it could have been another leopard it's very difficult to sort of say without knowing for sure but that was when it disappeared and so there was two but it's now just the one which is okay she's still doing really well just to raise this cub to sort of maturity is a really tough feat and we know shadow has been plagued with bad luck and she's really had a tough time of it in the areas that she spent time is where we often see tingana and anderson in sort of overlapping territories there's the cub there craig so james you're wondering because of the territory so you see it there craig it's just sitting there it is now it's going to sneak off into the thicket and mom is calling it from over there so that's why it's now sneaking off. But yeah, the territory that she sits in is not in a great place. She's on the sort of divide between Anderson and Tingana and sometimes other even young males that we've seen in these areas. And that means that she's often unfortunately getting caught up in the, and the male leopards are killing her cubs. So she's had a tough time of it, but only as time goes, she's starting to kind of work it out. And I think now with Anderson and Tingana having quite set territories, hopefully she'll be all right. She's been pushing very far to the east and spending a lot more time in the eastern sections, which is great because that's where Tingana is dominant and we think Tingana is the male for this or is the father of this cub don't know for sure but we think so and the fact that Tingana was seen in this area yesterday and the tracks for the cubs and her were here means that probably she's comfortable with the fact that he's around and the fact that she's brought the cub here means that she's okay with Tingana now I see them moving down in the dip there I don't know if we're going to be able to actually follow them and stay with them but we are certainly going to try our best there are quite a few vehicles that do want to come in, so we're going to probably have to limit our time with Shadow and Cub, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And sometimes, you know, just to be able to see them is special. And I think we've had amazing views. Right, now we're gonna try to see if I can't get in here and try get a better visual. And while I do that, let's go to James and see how he's doing.